asking God for a dream or a vision, uh, pleading with him to just show me something, anything that he wanted me to see. Um, and the Lord actually did honor that prayer. So I dreamed that um, my husband and I, um, Arturo, I dreamed that we were riding on a bus. We were talking about the RFID chip. I was telling him it's not a good idea to get it. And he replied, one of us should get it, implying it should be him. I had the understanding it should be him because he did not want to see his family starve. Um, it's like he knew that we wouldn't be able to eat unless we got it. Um, he received the chip, and I just remember following suit after him. I had an RFID chip gun in my hand, the little gun that they used to implant it up under your skin. I, I was getting ready to chip my son when I realized I was damned for taking this chip because me and my husband had already taken this chip in this dream. Um, I decided not to chip my son and became very angry, contemplating, killing myself. Um, I became hysterical and thought about digging this chip out of my hand, knowing um, I was permanently separated from God. And when I die, um, that I would go to hell without ever seeing uh, Jesus. Um, I began to weep. Um, I began to cry uncontrollably uh, because I had this uh, emptiness in the pit of me. I knew that um, I was damned being alive and I knew that I was damned when I died because uh, I would never, uh, it was the separation that I knew that, um, that, I, would, that I had uh, between me and God. Uh, I believe this dream symbolizes how easily people are going to take this chip uh, to keep working, to keep um, providing. Um, for food, for provision for their families, and how many men and women are going to follow suit of their partners. Uh, people are going to go crazy. Um, they're going to try to kill themselves. Uh, because in this dream, I felt every single emotion. I felt every single emotion. As soon as I got that chip, at first it was like, okay, I got the chip. Now I'm going to give it to my, my, my kid. Okay, now I'm going to give it to the children. And then before I could go any further, it's like the feeling of despair, of like, I'm doomed. Um, I wanted to try to dig it out. I felt like killing myself. I felt sad, crying, like it was just absolutely terrible. Um, I knew I made the wrong decision. Um, and I feel like people are going to go crazy. They're going to be trying to kill themselves, cursing God, um, having feelings of emptiness, despair, hopelessness. Um, um, then I wrote, Lord have mercy. It is better to starve or lose your life for Christ lose your job or go homeless than to take the chip in your body uh, this dream came from the Lord Jesus Christ and I believe it is a warning for the church for the body of Christ um, so take this dream and everything that I've said on this video to prayer for confirmation from God Shalom I want to start off by giving all praise on and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rekakwadash all blessings on the glory and power be unto the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh and His only begotten Son our Lord and Savior whose name is Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone, who taught me his truth. Salutations to the elect scattered brought throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, my name is Amon Gabar, and I'm back with another lesson, Lord willing, edifying, straight to the point. And this one is going to be based off of this video that I seen this morning. Um, it was premiered by GMS Testimonials and Visions 4, all right? The title is called Dream, um, Dream They Took the Sea Hip. All right, and it was originally up uploaded uh, from Yahawada 144 South Carolina SC, which I'm, I'm assuming that's South Carolina. Yahawada 144 SC. Um, I shared both videos in the community section of this page, GMS Awakening 144 Ha Amawanga Bar. So it's up there. Go ch check it out. But um, I'm going to play it here anyway. Lord's will, if I don't put it in the intro of this video. I'm going to play the audio right here, or I might include the clip right here. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. See how the spirit take it. But nonetheless, man, um, it's a dream a woman had that that she took the sea hip. Her husband took the sea hip, and she was getting ready to make her, her children take the sea hip. And, you know, it's a heavy dream for many reasons, right? Or it could be a vision. I don't know. A few things can be said about it is that for one, this is a it's not like a, a Israelite woman, you know. She's um uh, she's not like a Jake woman, you know. But see the thing about Jake, or these people that that know about the sea hip, they know about the MOTB, they still gonna be calling on Jesus in that day. Jesus ain't the name. Jesus ain't the man. You can't see once you got Jesus in your mind, that's another God. That's number one. Exodus the twentieth chapter. All right, verse one. All right, that's another God. That's a whole another deity you're calling to. And Jake don't even realize that when we try to tell him that the real true powers is Yahweh and his only begotten son, which is why we give honors, blessings, honor, glory, and power to those names. 
all right? Because those are going to be the only names that will be able to sustain us in this near future. You know, because it's like I was watching the video and I was thinking about it. A lot of people, I think I even mentioned this last night. Um, last night or yesterday or something, but in, in a video I did. But a lot of people are going to hold out to the end. Not to the end. A lot of people are going to hold out until they can't hold out anymore. And that's the, that's the fearful part about this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I got I got script, scriptures lined up and all that. But um, that's why it's extremely important. You know, detrimental to be grounded in the in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, be grounded in his truth and be grounded in his faith because a lot of people are gonna hold out on that MOTB up until their backs are against the wall, and then everybody's backs are gonna be against the wall, but then that's when it's gonna be that's when the, the, the faith, the knowledge, the wisdom, understanding is gonna have to kick in on hyperdrive. That's when we, we really gonna have to be, you know, um 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 put to the test and and, and be made known what we're made of. You know, that's why we are constantly putting up videos concerning the MOTB because this is going to be the hour of temptation. That the, this is the final test. All right, from the Apostle Tar on down, we are literally preparing people, all right, through the Spirit. At the same time, preparing ourselves for this final exam, this final test that's going to come upon this whole earth. And a lot of people are going to fail, except the elect. You know, that's why we hope that we're part of the elect. That's, we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Nobody made it yet. Like the, the, the Christian church said, well, I'm saved. I'm saved. How, how are you saved if nothing happened yet? What are you saved from? They don't even know what they're saved from. You know what I'm saying? So it's a heavy dream uh, or, or possible vision, you know. And that's a, ter that's a nightmare, actually, to, to have a dream that you took the MOTB. I mean, that's, that's a nightmare. But at the same time, a dream is a dream. You better hope. Or, or if you have a dream like that, I mean, pray like all hell is just a, just a, a dream. And don't let it detail you because scriptures talk about how some dream, people chase after dream like a shadow. The, sometimes, it, it, uh, what does it say also? The, that dream uplift a fool. And if I'm permitting this, which I probably will, brothers can engage and post some scriptures that I'm quoting that I'm not getting in the comment board, all right, in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, she better hope like all hell that that, was a, that that wasn't a vision. Because once you take that MOTB, it ain't no turning back. That's what's going to separate... You know, that's what's going to separate you from the Heavenly Father. That's, what, that's what's going to determine. That's a major factor in, in determining salvation. Let's just say it like that. You know, because, I mean, that's not the end-all, be-all, but it's the major test. For one, you got to be part of the elect to make it. We got to be part of the elect to make it. But that's going to be the, the final separation, uh, to, say the, um, to say the least, all right? So what I'm going to do, Lord willing, is um, let's play that video right here. It should it should pick up in this audio right here. So let me go let me go with it. Or vision, which you have for a dream, or vision, uh, pleading with him to just show me something, anything that he wanted me to see. Um, and the Lord actually did utter that prayer. So I dreamed that um, my husband and I, um, Arturo, I dreamed that we were riding on a bus. We were talking about the RFID chip. I was telling him it's not a good idea to get it. And he replied, none of us should get it, implying it's true. And this ain't medical advice, medical information, medical misinformation. This is just criticism. Should be him. I had the understanding that she was about dream that um, my husband and I, um, Arturo, I dreamed that we were riding on the bus. We were talking about the RFID chip. I was telling him it's not a good idea to get it. And he replied, none of us should get it, implying it should be him. I had the understanding it should be him because he did not want to see his family starve. Um, it's like he knew that we wouldn't be able to eat unless we got it. Um, he received the chip, and I just remember following suit after him. I had an RFID chip gun in my hand, the little gun that they used to implant it up under your skin. I, I was getting ready to chip my son when I realized I was damned for taking this chip because me and my husband had already taken this chip in this dream. Um, I decided not to chip my son and became very angry, contemplating killing myself. Um, I became hysterical and thought about digging this chip out of my hand, knowing um, I was permanently separated from God. And when I died, um, that I would go to hell without ever seeing uh, Jesus. 
um, I began to weep. Um, I began to cry uncontrollably uh, because I had this uh, emptiness in the pit of me. I knew that um, I was damned being alive and I knew that I was damned when I died because uh, I would never, uh, it was the separation that I knew that um, that I would, that I had uh, between me and God. Uh, I believe this dream symbolizes how easily people are going to take this chip uh, to keep. I'm going to pause it for a second before I lose my train of thought. And that's why we emphasize that Jesus nonsense, that Jesus Christ, you know, nonsense is, is going to get you destroyed. It's going to destroy you because there's no such place as hell that you go. Your spirit goes and burn for all eternity. Hell is going to take place on earth. All right. The lake of fire is going to take place on earth. And we got, and we proved that many a times in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you in the book of uh, Peter's that this world is reserved for fire. The old world perished with uh, water, but this world is reserved for fire. And that that equates with the hellfire that's coming to this planet Earth. And it also tell you, matter of fact, I'm going to jump to this first. Even though I didn't have this originally lined up. Let me go to the um to the penalty of it. Because it ain't no ain't no hell. You ain't gonna, you know, go to hell and burn and America, America is gonna be hell. America is hell. This is hell. This is gonna be the lake of fire, and, it, and this is gonna be the place where people are gonna burn for receiving that thing. So let me read Revelation 14 and 8. And they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Babylon is America. All right. Babylon is America. Babylon the Great is America. Okay. Modern day Babylon is America. That great city. Okay. That's why we can read in Revelation where it says the 10th part of the city fell, which means the whole entire continent of America, which is broken down into 10 regions, FEMA regions from zero to uh, nine. All right. Ba and it's the same as just zip codes. Okay. So the whole city, which which is which is made up of uh, you, that's why like Apostle Tar breaks down. You got citizens, all right, American citizen. America is a great city. We're all citizens of America, Babylon, okay, which makes this a city. So it's gonna fall because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of fornication, which they they drink it. They've been drinking and they drinking even more now, so more than ever, getting drunk, getting sloppy, drunk, getting wasted, you know. And they're going to continue to get drunk until they get mad and shoot nukes at her. Verse 9 says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the bee and his image and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand. All right? What are we pumping? On, um, what are we pumping through our YouTube? What are we pumping through our bishop? What, what, from the apostles on down, what, what have we been talking about? You know, all the prophecies, of course, but it was never a point in time where the MOTB don't come up. So as of now, not as of now, but um, as of recent, these people start on Elon Musk is talking about um, um, this year, within six months, they want to they want to be testing human beings with the with the, the, the Neuralink and all that, you know, and that Neuralink is going to come in the, in, the, in the guise of miracles, healing par paralyzed people. You know, uh, healing blind, healing the blind, healing people from all these incurable diseases that only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh can um, heal, and that men, men of the Lord and the Scriptures have healed people with, or from. Esau is trying to imitate that. All right, so he's saying that he's like the Most High, like the Scriptures say. Right, that's what this devil is doing. So that's how he's going to deceive people. East, that's not the only form of deception. He's going to deceive people on many different levels, man. All right, on many different levels, he's going to deceive people. And that's, that's how it's going to happen. It's going to come via the way of deception. And a lot of people are going to fall into this deception. You know? People don't care. Once their backs are against the wall, they can't they can't um, work. They can't um, travel. They can't buy food. They can't pay their rent. They can't pay this. They can't. Especially if they got children. People are going to fold, man. People are going to fold like, like, a, like, a, like paper bags. You know? And then crumble like a wet paper bag. You know, that's why we are, you know, earnestly just, you know, contending for this thing, man, fighting for this truth and this faith and pray that the Lord have mercy on us when that day come. And I, Lord, well, I'm going to get some scriptures to, you know, build on this lesson. All right. Because that time is coming. That time is coming. So like she's saying in his, in his vision right here, his dream, matter of fact, let me finish the scripture and I'm going to go back to it. So if any man worship to be his image. And receive his M-A-R-K, the, the C-Rogma, in the forehead or in his hand, all right? Because it's going to be both. 
All right, we, like I said, Elon Musk is getting into the, the the brain interface and this and that, and that and this. That's what that's talking about. And then uh, the actual seat, uh, uh, the rice grain, okay, in your hand, arms, whatever, left arm, right arm, whatever, wherever part you get in your body, you're done. You're through. People are done. You know. But what 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 is the most common place? What, Use your common sense, like like the, uh, that one IUIC member said. So if you get in your left butt cheek, does does it mean it's the M A R K S? It does. But who's gonna go to who's gonna put in their left butt cheek, and then go to the store, and when it's time to check out, self check out, they put their ass to the scanner. Who gonna do that, bro? You know, that's why the script said every idle word that man shall speak, he should give account for, it, bro. That don't make no damn sense. I'm trying to be funny. You know, come on. Anyway, verse ten says. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of your, the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means what? Righteous anger. All right? Righteous anger. Justified anger. Anger because of unjust deeds. Okay? And that's going to come, by the way, of thermonuclear destruction. And shall be tormented with fire and, and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay? So that's how it's going to happen. That's how it's going to happen. That represents the thermonuclear destruction, the ICBM missiles. All right? Let me jump to a quick precept that just came to mind. This is... This is Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another angel... I mean, excuse me. I saw another sign in heaven. Great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of God. The nukes. It says, verse 2, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. All right? A sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, over the bee, and over his image, and over his M-A-R-K. All right? The sea of glass represents the firmament. All right? The ozone layer. So, during the destruction, the chariots are going to beam up. The chariots, which are the so-called UFOs, are going to beam up the elect, the remnant. All right, with Yahweh shout, Yahweh shout, Lord willing, we be uh, the whole full elect. Going to be up, like the scripture said, they shall meet the Lord in the clouds, in the air. They, sh they shall all meet the Lord in the air. Above the ozone layer, all right, and underneath the ozone layer is going to be like a sea of glass mingled with fire. That's going to be the, 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 the destruction, the nukes shooting from one continent to the next, blowing up, detonating, and just mi being mingled with fire. That's what it's going to look like from an aerial view, and that's how John has seen it. John, the apostle John, has seen it from, the, from a sky view. All right, so looking down at it, that's that's what it looked like. The sea of glass mingled with fire. This is hell. This is real hell. It says, "And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, which is the elect, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, which we can read that in Revelation 13, stand on the sea of glass. I mean, they're gonna be standing over it. All right, in the chariots, having the harps of the Most High. Right. So that's the point I wanted to get on that." All right, that's the point I wanted to get on that. So let me play this video again. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm gonna get one more pre, uh, one more point. In um, in in, in Second Peter's, the Second Peter chapter three verse seven. It says, "But the heaven, or the heavens and the earth, which are now." I should start up a little bit. I'll start at verse 6. It says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. So the old world perished by water. All right? The flood. All right? Everybody got stories of the flood. It's well recorded in history about the flood. All right? So we know that. That the old earth perished by water. But now how is the new world going to perish? The, 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 mo the modern world. It says... Not the whole earth either, okay? The rulership. It says, but the heavens and earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So judgment day, which people call it hell, and it's going to be on earth. It's going to be on earth. Hell is going to be on earth, okay? America is going to be the lake of fire, okay? So it says, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And that's the point. You know, that's the point right there. So hell is going to be on earth and it's going to be right here. Babylon the Great. This is the place destined to be destroyed by fire. And many other scriptures could have came out. But let me play this. And that's the that's the issue among all, all issues with Christianity. Talking about you're going to go to hell for receiving this. Nah, you're you going to die in the hellfire 
Yeah. But if you're an Israelite, you're gonna come back, you know, righteous in the kingdom. I knew that um, that I was that I had uh, between me and God. Uh, I believe this dream symbolizes how easily people are going to take this chip. Uh, to keep working, to keep uh, providing um, for food, for provision for their families, and how many men and women are going to follow suit of their partners. Uh, people are going to go crazy. Um, they're going to try to kill themselves. Uh, because in this dream, I felt every single emotion. I felt every single emotion. As soon as I got that chip, at first it was like, okay, I got the chip, now I'm going to give it to my, my, my kid. Okay, now I'm going to give it to the children. And then before I could go any further, it's like the feeling of despair of like, I'm doomed. Um, I wanted to try to dig it out. I felt like killing myself. I felt sad, crying. Like it was just absolutely terrible. Um, I knew I made the wrong decision. Um, and I feel like people are going to go crazy. They're going to be trying to kill themselves, cursing God, um, having feelings of emptiness, despair, hopelessness. Um, and then uh, well, the Lord have mercy. It is better to starve or lose your life for Christ, lose your job or go homeless than to take the chip in your body. Uh, this dream came from the Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe it is a warning for the church, for the body of Christ. Um, so take this dream and everything that I've said on this video to prayer, for confirmation from God. And as that, you know, if this woman speaking to is to ever come across this video or our videos or whatever it may be, stop calling on Jesus Christ. All right, stop calling on Jesus Christ. Call on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because those are the only ones that are going to be able to save in that time. All right, and like I said, I posted this in the community section. I'll probably post it in all, uh, the um, description box as well, you know? But yeah, it's coming down to it, man. And um, a lot of people are gonna, are gonna fold, like she said, well, like what the, the scriptures say, but like she mentioned, a lot of people gonna fold because cause of that pressure, all right? That's why it's gonna be the time of great deception. So let me get some scriptures. That I originally have lined up. All right. Let me go to the book of Luke, chapter 6. And I'll start at. I'll start at. Um, I'll start at 47. Luke, chapter 6, and verse 47. It says. Whosoever come to me or cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will shew you whom he is like. All right. Whomsoever cometh to me. All right. We all came, we all came into this truth. Scripture says many are called. All right. But then it says few are chosen. We hope that we're called. Well, we know that we're called because we're doing this. But ultimately we hope that we're chosen. All right. For salvation. You know, us men, brothers on the highways and byways, teaching and preaching, that have been enduring. You know, never, you know, put their hand to the plow, didn't look back, so on and so forth. You know, even you women, you come into this thing, you learn about Israel, you got to put off that old woman. All right? What call will be stopped and say when you answer a call? All right, Salakia, I'm sorry, something popped up. Something popped up real quick. Somebody's calling me. Hold on one second. Nah, this thing's supposed to be on Don't Disturb. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Salak you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you women out there. She say uh, this is probably a spam call. It looks like a scam likely, but scam likely over here trying to detail. See, I was saying be trying to detail you women, make a man forget his thoughts. What you gonna say? But your your benefit, your hope. But um, anyway, you know it's apply to you women too because you know a lot of a lot of a lot of Israelites are gonna be put to death. A lot of Israelites are gonna be saved, but more so those that are gonna be put to death is way more than them that are gonna be saved. But there's going to be women that are going to be saved too. And we teach that, all right? You know that. But you got to walk that narrow path as we are doing, all right? Follow the men as the examples, you know, to walk that narrow path like the scriptures tell us to do, you know? And, and do as the Lord commanded you. You know, we done got videos and instructionals on how women should conduct themselves. So abide by that, man. You know, it's, it's, it's quite simple. It's not that hard. It's very simple, you know? So whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying... And do of them, I will show you to whom he is like. So ultimately, Lord going to show us, us men, you know, the way, all right? This truth, you know, the answers. The scripture said, lean not in your own understanding. Everything we do is dependent on Yahweh Shah, man, our big brother. You know, our Lord and Savior and the Heavenly Father, all right? 
So the Lord is going to show what he's like. This is the parable. It says, he is like a man which build a house and diggeth deep, all right, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood came, and when the flood arose, again, this is like a man that, that, that when he's getting ready to build a house, all right, because I'm in that field, brothers, you know, a lot of us brothers, we're in the field where we build, whether it's private, you know, uh, private or industrial or, or commercial, whatever. But in the very beginning, the excavators come and they dig very, very deep. All right, the more, the bigger the uh, the the, the structure is going to be, the deeper they got to go. All right, and the bigger the structure, the better it is to withstand certain things. So they got to go deep, you know. And this thing that we're building up is big; it's bigger than us. So we got to we got to dig real deep, man. You know, lay that foundation very deep, which Yahweh Shai is that foundation, you know. And there's a reason why you got to dig deep. And it says he is like a man which building house and diggeth deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the flood represents what? Destruction. When the flood comes, it comes to wipe away, wash away, destroy. Remember, the first world perished by water, by flood. Okay? And the scriptures say, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The enemy coming in like a flood is Esau, Edom, coming in with that wrath. Revelation 12 says he's going to come down with great wrath because he know that he have a short time. All right? And he's going to get people desperate. Esau is going to get people real, real, real desperate, bro. And that's why this parable is written. Okay, we got to be the ones to have our foundation laid upon that rock. Never forsook the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Held those names dearly. Never played around with it. Never said you could call them whatever you want. Yo plate, yogurt. You know, we ain't never did that, bro. You know, a man like that ain't holding the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shah dearly and sacred and holy. So what's going to happen to a person like that? Time going to tell. So it says, when the flood arose and the stream beat vehemently, which means with force, upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. It was dug deep and founded upon a rock. You know, this is not a thing where we are building our house on sand or, 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 or on just flat ground. You just walk up to a plot of land, you know, you, you, you clear the trees down and then you just start laying blocks on the damn uh, uh, soil. No. It don't work like that, you know, because what's going to happen is the, the earth is going to shift it. Water is going to come. It's going to weaken the bottom of that foundation. It's going it's going to collapse. It's going to collapse. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is that foundation. So if people are not built on that foundation, no matter how hard they try, how hard they resist, it's going to come a point where they're going to fold if they're not built on that on that foundation. And not just people. This this is a, a Admonishment for myself and everybody in this faith, man, because things are going to get turned the hell up. Things are going to get serious in 2023, Lord willing. You know, this man planning on testing that um 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 Neuralink in in people within six or uh, five to six months. Remember, hey, just like how they with the with the JAB, right? Remember with the JAB, they never got what you call it. Um, they got um <clears throat> excuse me, emergency approval. It was never like officially authorized or anything like that. Now they could they could do the same thing with the C hip. They could say, all right, you know, some this is bad, this is catastrophic. Where remember the catastrophic exercise thing I did the video on? All right, they could say this is bad, this is catastrophic. We gotta hurry up, we gotta speed this up. Now we're gonna get it. We're gonna seek approval for uh, um, early approval just to get it rolling. They could bypass all of those laws and legislations, which a lot of the laws and legislation they already did. Over the years, over the decade, they already slipped them up in there. You know what I'm saying? So they could do it. They could do it, however, whatever. Emergency approval and start getting people shot up by by as, as early as mid next year, or probably even before the. Before, like I, I don't know, man. I mean, we pray, we hope, we're not putting a time stamp on your how about shot, but but uh, within a year from now, you can see people being seed up. You know, or even before that, but we we, we don't know. We just gotta hope and pray and just. Hastening the coming of the day of our Lord and just stay focused, diligent, and, and continue to watch. You know? Because it's going to be crunch time real soon. Believe that. So it says, verse 49, But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth. And this is somebody that heard the word. They're not doing it. They're not taking heed. They don't care. They're disregarding it. Going into one ear and out the next. This is a person that's building their house upon a sand, upon sand, all right, they built it upon the earth, you know, like I mentioned earlier with that analogy, 
building it upon just regular ground. No, no digging, no, no nothing. So it says again, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell. Immediately, bang, instantaneously, just like that. Snap of a finger, it just fell. And the ruins of the house was great. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, if you, if you, you know, in, in this thing, and you're not built on your how about shimmy how shy, you know, here it is. We we a we a lot like like just like a broken record, just repeating the same thing. Which is beautiful because that's what the Lord want. Endurance. You know, you just, it's not like the same thing is coming out. It comes out with more spark every time. You know, more edification every time. More information every time. You know, more inspiration every time. The inspiration came from this. From this dream that this, this, this woman had. You know, that she came to the conclusion in the dream that... That what she said, how she said it, that people are not going to... um, They're not going to care no more. You know, what was it? Hold on. Of the writing, um, for food, for provision for their families, and how many men and women are going to fall, people are going to take this chip at uh, between me and God. Uh, I believe this dream symbolizes how easily people are going to take this chip. Right. And she said how easily people are going to do it. Why is it going to be easy? Because of the circumstances. Circumstances are going to change to make it to where people are going to disregard their beliefs, how they felt about it. And you know how, you know how we know that? Because it happened with the with the jump shot. Remember the jump shot? Remember a lot of people held out. They resisted. And I know people that, you know, when it first happened, when it first came out, they was like, oh, F I ain't taking that SHRT. Da, 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 da. And I was like, you know, just conversating. You know, it was, it was interesting time. So I was entertaining it. And then in my mind, I'm like, all right, we'll see. You know, and lo and behold, these same people went and got it. You asked them about it. You know, they they, they, they had a sense of, Regret like, yeah, you know, I had to, man. I had to. You know, I had to. And then they changed the subject real quick. You know, so it ain't gonna be no different with the C hit, man. You know, these the, those same people, they 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 didn't have a reason as to why they weren't gonna do it. They didn't they don't have a reason. They weren't dug deep, they weren't grounded, they weren't they they had no foundation of any sort. So they I mean they failed they failed the wind test. That was a wind test. That wasn't even the waters coming and beating that house. That was just a that was a light breeze. It was a light breeze that came by, you know, blew the house down like the like that story with the three little pigs and all that. You know what I'm saying? Blew that house down. So how much more when things get get uh get drastic? You know? So I got some scriptures right now here. Let me uh no particular order, just going with the flow, going with the spirit. The Lord's will, this is edifying to the elect. And if I quote, like I said, to the Akim out there watching, if I quoted something and didn't put it down or, or, or not bring it out, you know, post, light that board up. So let me go to the to the main thing right here. This is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So everybody's about to get tried. Everybody. Cir like I said, circumstances are going to change to where, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be backs against the wall. Esau, hey, what does what the scripture say? See, this is fundamental scriptures like Joel 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? Esau, Edom. So he's going to control this thing by the power and the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah to his, to, to bend it to how he want it. But really it's the most high, you know? So, yo, see, we dealing with, we dealing with, the basis of man, but the Most High put the spirit on his devil to be real crafty about how he's about to do this thing. And it is going to be, he's going to be brilliant. He's going to be very brilliant up until the point where the Lord throw Job 20 his ass. All right, throw that monkey wrench in his plan and then, and then have nukes destroy him. So up until then, this is going to be a perfect strategic strike. And everybody that's going to get got, are meant to get got. We we hope we the ones that, are, that endure to the very end, you know? Putting out trust in Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. And Lord willing, I'm going to go into that. Because that's what it's going to come down to. You know, you may seem hopeless. Like you're in a situation where, damn, what am I going to do? I, ain't, I don't got a job no more. I'm, my money is dwindling. You know, here it is. They transferring over into a CBDC system. And I don't want to engage in that. You know, however it's going to roll out, we just got to wait and see. But nonetheless... We got to put our faith and trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That faith, faith is that key, that substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right? Because that's all it's going to boil down to at the end of the day. So the Lord said, because you kept the word of my patience, 
All right? Meaning you heard, you know, you, hold, you held fast to this truth, this word, you did your due diligence, you know, everything that the Lord commanded you. And you know within yourself if you're doing right or wrong. You know, you should know within yourself. That's why scripture says, examine yourself. You know, try, you know, do more than try. Don't try to do. Okay? Yeah, we fall, but we got to get back up and go even harder than before. You know what I'm saying? So we got to keep this thing to the very end. In order for the Lord to do what? I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. This is going to try everybody. Everybody's about to be tried. This new thing is going to be, man, 2023 is going to be a monkey wrench in these people's in a damn head. You know? It's going to be a monkey wrench. Thrown into this whole, what am I going to do for the future? My plans, this, that. People think things are going to go back to normal. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The devil know he got a short time. So, the Lord say he's going to keep, keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And come on, man. We can't say that enough. Everybody is about to be tried on a, on a, on a, on a high level. All right? High level temptations are coming. And every temptation that we have been going through is a smaller temptation, like smaller quizzes. And what made that obvious was last year. All right, 2020 and 2021. All right, with the um with the jump shot. That made it obvious that the Lord is getting ready to visit this place. Okay? And some of the things the Lord commanded us was let me read uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 12. It says, A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive himself a kingdom and to return. That's Yahweh Shah. All right? The kingdom. He, 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 the Lord won. He conquered death. He got the victory. Okay? He got the kingdom. He just waiting to establish it on earth. You know, we, we, we waiting to be rulers and joint heir with him. You know, Lord willing, get the crown. You know, the Lord gives us the order, the instructions on how to, just like in the, in, the, in the beginning, let us make man, you know, let us, where it says in Genesis, the first chapter, let us make man in our image. It's going to be a whole nother us again, Lord willing. All right, let us do this. You, you, you go over there, put these people in chains, shackles, bound them, whatever, however it's going to go down. You know, the Lord got the kingdom, is just waiting to be established on earth. And not to mention the other planets that the Lord got established you know, like it says in John 14, I go to prepare a place for you. Okay, that, the, them planets is out there, man. We're going to explore them. And that's victory. The only way to do that is to get the victory. So it says, he called, and he called his 10 servants, all right, his 10 servants, and delivered to them 10 pounds, and said unto them, occupy till I come. All right, pounds is money. Occupy till I come, meaning invest. All right, what we're doing is an investment right here. This, this truth is a spiritual investment. You know, like a, a little apostle round lab would say, what you put in is what you get out. And that's with anything. The more you put in on something, the, the more you're going to get out. I could, I could take it physical. The more you, the more, because the, when I say the more, is the more is like consistency. Consistency is key. So like the more consistent you are with a particular a particular thing, like let's say working out. You know, you more you consistent, you like, you know, hitting them reps, push-ups, whatever sets, however you do. You know, the more you do it is the more gains you're going to see. You know? On a physical tip, the more you invest in something, is the more you're going to get out. The more you, your, your, your mind is glued to the scriptures, is the more you receive, and the more you get back, and the more you could put out, and the more you could get back, you know? So this truth is a constant investment that's, that's it's just you just got to be consistent. We got to be consistent. That's why Lord said, occupy till I come, till he come back. So we got an occupation that we must fulfill, you know? It ain't rest. It's not time to rest yet, man. You know, some days, you know, we feel beat down in the flesh and in the spirit, but it still ain't time to rest. That's when we got to dig deeper and harder to finish the fight. You know, and I'm telling myself this before I'm saying it to anybody else. You know, you watch boxing, the last few rounds be the toughest ones. You know, even though you, you condition, you know, you, 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 you're fit for the battle, you still feel like that sometimes. But that's when you, 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 you dig with, deep within yourself and go even harder. You know, and that's like for the times we feel like down and out and weak and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Dig deep to find that inspiration. And I'm going to go physical again. Sometimes you don't want to go to the gym. A lot of times I ain't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like going. But then I end up going. Those be the best workouts. And those be the ones that really count a lot, man. Because you dug deep within yourself, which is all mind over matter at the end of the day. You know? So, point is occupied till Yahweh Shah come back. It says, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, 
we will not have this man to reign over us. And that's what happened when Yahweh Shah was on the scene. His own people hated him. He came to his own and his own hated him. It says, this, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, that he commanded these servants to be, to be called unto him again, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. And this, this goes into the parable in um, Matthew, the 25th chapter, about the five, the ten virgins. The five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. You know, we about to see this. These, this parable is about to happen. This ain't happened yet, but this parable is about to come to pass. The ten virgin parables are about to come to pass. All right, the oil in their lamps, the understanding of the scriptures and the truth. All right, the knowledge and all of that. It's about to come to pass. Who had the oil in their lamps? Who were, 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 were filling their lamps up, trimming their lamps, trimming that wick, keeping it lit, all of that. It's going to manifest real soon. So it says, he wanted to see how, how much everybody gained by the trading, right? So then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound have gained 10 pounds. So that one pound multiplied by 10. He said unto him, well done. I mean, excuse me, yeah, well, thou good servant. And because thou has been faithful in a very little, have authority over 10 cities. So he got his reward according to what he put in. It says, in the second came, so he got his he got his reward. He got his victory. He got his reward. All right? And them cities are going to be, the, it's, going, it's like likened unto the kingdom. Authority in the kingdom. All right? That be, being crowned, you know, being a ruler to come. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. So this man with that one pound gained five, which is a beautiful thing. According to his spirit, that's how much he was able to get back. According to his investments, that's how much he was able to get back. So it says, and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. So this man thinks just by hope, the Lord gave strict commandments to occupy till he come back, to trade, to make money, to invest, not to hold it, you know, not to hold it down in a napkin. And that's like laying, that's like hiding your, that's literally like hiding your wisdom, your truth, you know, your knowledge in a napkin, you know. It says, for I fed thee because thou an austere man, thou takest up that thou layest um, not down and repeat, repeat, excuse me, reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid down and reaping what I did not sow. Wherefore, then gavest not thou my money into the bank that at my coming I might require mine own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from the pound, take from him that pound, and give it to him that had ten pounds. So this man, you know, he lost his he lost his he lost his position. Not that it was ever there. You know, like how um the scriptures talk about being written in the book of life. It, like uh who brought it out? I can't remember which it was I U I C or something that your name could be crossed out. Like you was once dead, but then you just scratch it out, all right, nope. This didn't work out. No. The Lord already have who's written to be saved, salvation, written in the Lamb's Book of Life to be delivered when that time come. You know, so this was predestined to happen. And a person like this is going to fold and break when the MOTB is implemented. So I'm going to finish this up. Verse 26. For I say unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given. And from him that have not even that he has shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies which shall not, which would not that I rule and reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And there's gonna be Israelites, even when Yahweh shall come back, that's gonna be caught up, you know, in their own, you know, uh, uh, uh religion, whatever, that don't want Yahweh Shah to rule over him. A lot of Israelites gonna be put to death. Those that don't die here in Babylon by the nukes, that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, are gonna be put to death when that time comes. Whether they receive the MARK. Wherever they at in the world, you know, or whatnot, you know, even among the Israelite, those that that are Israelite that don't look like Israelite, a lot is scripture said that Israel is the sand of the sea, but a remnant is going to be saved. A remnant is going to be saved, so it's going to be a lot of work to be done in this coming kingdom. All right, so I just want to bring that out, occupy till he come, and as far as on um, building your house upon a rock and doing as the Lord commanded, this is the book of uh, Revelation chapter two. In verse 10, 
It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because suffering is coming. All right, great sufferings is coming. You know, scripture saying on um, Sirach 2, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. All right, prepare your soul for temptation. Now read the whole Sirach, the second chapter. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And here it is in China. They're showing you, they're not showing you the mainstream media, but you can find it on certain, a, a lot of, a, you can find it a lot on um, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, and these other alternative sources of information. You can find it. All right, China got all types of camps set up. The same camps that we, from the apostles to our on down, the apostles, other bishops, been talking about, they got them camps set up. All right, and, but remember when we was teaching it, we were being called conspiracy nuts. You know, China ain't nothing but a forerunner on, on what the rest of the world is going to look like, on what they want the rest of the world to look like. It's a communist country, right? So they want that whole ideology to come here to Babylon, you know, and it will to an extent. So fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. So some of us, some of the elect members are going to be put in concentration camps. Are going to be put in a pr put in prison for what? For the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, for the testimony. All right, for 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 what's the word? Um, not mutiny, for sedition, speaking against the government. And that's that's what that's what these every no matter what. See, the Bible speaks against this damn place, man. Speaks against the authorities of this place. You know, speaks against Esau, Edom. Speaks against who's ruling. So by default, us bringing this out is a form of sedition. And there's um, videos that brothers have been putting up about how the Bible, you know, they want to ban the Bible and this and that for, for hate speech. And what's funny about it, I remember years ago I did a video which allegedly was a spoof, right? A spoof article. But the title of the video was called California About to Ban the Bible Label as an Assault Weapon, something like that. And I did a video on it. Yeah, it caught uh, traction. And a lot of scoffers came on talking about, oh, you dummy, this is a, this is a, um, this was a spoof. Oh, this wasn't even real, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Now what? Now what? Huh? It's not Esau trying to ban the scriptures and ban the Bible and take out certain things because it goes against his agenda? Yes, he is. You know? The whole entire scriptures go against this damn devil. So, anyway, man. That you may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Trouble. 10 days meaning a set amount of days. It could be anything. 10, it could be 5, 4, 2, a week, whatever. It's a complete amount of time that the Lord is going to allow for a brother, all right, to go through a certain time period of, of trouble to try that brother, you know, to try an individual, you know, to refine him as gold is refined, as the scriptures tell us. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So that's the point. Be faithful unto death, and the Lord is going to give thee a crown of life. Let me jump from there to the 20th chapter. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. It says, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And the Lord promised the twelve that he would, they would sit on twelve, twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Dominion. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahawashah, which those are the prophets. Some of the prophets are going to be beheaded via the guillotine because the guillotines are coming back. All right? That's going to be the most cost-efficient way to execute a person. So John is actually seeing, Apostle John is actually seeing, some of the some of the, the martyrs of Yahweh Shah being put to death for the testimony, for, for prophesying, for standing boldly and stiffly. Not every prophet, not every brother, but some of the brothers are going to be put to death. Some brothers, it could be any brother, it could be, you know, whatever the Lord uh, sees fit, man. You know? And that's all to glorify Yahweh Shah. Just to, even dying for Yahweh Shah is, is glorification in itself. You know? So it says. For the word of God, right? It says, um, for the witness of Yahweh Shah, for the word of God, word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and which had not worshipped the be, neither his image, neither received the M-A-R-K upon their foreheads, all right? Upon their foreheads, or in their hands, either hand, it doesn't matter, either hand says, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years, all right? Which is forever. It ain't going to be a period of a thousand years, and that's it. What's, what's the main thing that's going to happen within that, within that 1,000 years? Hardcore bondage. And enslavement of these nations, all right? Especially, and then after that 1,000 years, especially with Esau, it's going to be termination. So that's the main thing within that 1,000 years. But it's going to be forever. It's going to be all eternity. All right? Because even the next verse says, But the rest of the dead which lived not again until the 1,000 years were finished, this is the first resurrection. So 
after that thousand years, that's when them nations are going, you know, live again. All right, have their lands and be tribute unto us. All right. Um, hold on one second. Let me go to First Peter chapter five. First Peter chapter five and verse seven. Uh, maybe I'll start up. Let me see. Yeah, I started verse. I start at verse six. First Peter chapter five and verse six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the under the mighty hand of Yahweh. All right, the mighty hand of Yahweh is this power, right? Which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says that he may exalt you in due time. All right, the time of being exalted is coming. You know, for us brothers, the time of us being exalted. It's coming. We're not here to exalt ourselves, to set ourselves up on a pedestal and, and and be who the hell we're not, you know? That cult of personality and becoming this 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 uh, uh internet sensation and all of that. No. You know, getting the praises of men. We're here for Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, point blank, period. Who don't like it can get lost, Vamanos. You know? We're here for Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai that the Lord exalt us in due time. And we know that the time of being exalted is coming. All right, it's coming, and it's gonna start. Like I was watching, I was I forget which brother it was. Um, he had he had did a video. The title of the video was called. If you're watching, he could post his video in the um, comment section, you know. But the title of the video was expect to get these type of phone calls. I should have shared it in the community section, but it's all good. But um, expect to get these type of phone calls. Now what happened was one of his ex coworkers had hit him up. He recorded the conversation or whatever, saying. His ex coworker hit him up saying, yo, man, everything you've been saying was right, man. World War III is about to happen, man. Yo, I don't even know, man. I'm scared now. You know? But expect expect those things to happen because people are going to realize that there's been a prophet among them. Watch when this watch when this MOTB thing ramps up. Watch when Elon Muskie and these other competitors start pushing that MO to the TB. Matter of fact, oh, brother, uh, Yashalon just put up the video. Was it on uh, Whole Foods? Whole Foods, you got to have a QR code now to enter or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, watch when people start realizing, especially people from these other camps, start realizing that, yo, these GMS dudes look like they was right, bro. Just like how they were found wrong when they tried to make the whole grape issue an issue. And then later found out that, yo, when you dig deep and look into it, the, what the apostle said was correct. This is going to be the same thing with the MOTB. Watch when, they, like Apostle Tarr said, watch when they end up setting up them chipping stations. You know, them chipping stations. And it ain't going to be hard. You don't need a whole factory, a whole big industrialized looking building for to be a chipping station. Just like how they got the um the uh, the, the, the 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 crack scene stations on the streets with the little tent, you just walk up in there and get get tested and whatever, get a shot and walk the hell out. It could be the same thing with the with the CHIP stations, bro. All they're gonna need is a computer to program your ass, the the syringe gun, you know, and the the the, the actual MOTB. Now, if you want to get the technical shits, we're not, I'm not saying now if you want to get... Now, I'm talking about these people that, that's going to F up and take the MOTB. Now, if they want to get the technical one, which Elon Musk is presenting as far as, you know, healing the paralyzed and all of that, now you got to go to a damn doctor or whatever, a surgeon or some shit maybe. You know, because you could go to... They could go up to tattoo shops and tattoo parlors and get the damn, you know, uh, rice grain. You know, now all they got to do from there is programming. So this thing is going to be extremely convenient for these people. You know, and how much more, see, when, when SHTF and things are looking bad, your money ain't meaning shit no more. The only way to reserve your money and stop inflation, this is just an, a thought. You know, inflation's so bad, oh, damn, let's, let's hurry up and transfer this shit into credit so it don't fluctuate so bad. Easy way to get a person. You know, that's just an example. But anyway... People are going to realize this and see it happening. And then, you know, what's going to happen is a lot people going to realize that the, the privates are eating. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't shoot the MOTB, but they eating. They got food. They good. They sustained. They stable-minded. They stable-bodied. Then the Lord is going to show who his men are. So verse 7 says, casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. So that's the key. 
Cast all your cares on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Especially in the time to come. Cast your cares upon him. How are we going to eat? I don't know. Lord, you deal with that. That's that's casting your cares upon him. How are we going to eat when all hell break loose? How are we going to do this? How am I going to do that? I don't know. Lord, you said you was going to look out for me some way, shape, form, or fashion. Then I'm leaving it up to you. That's faith right there, man. And just believe that the Lord is going to do it. But you got to believe. That's casting your cares upon him because there's absolutely nothing we can do but that which we were commanded to do, which was to keep his patience and continue to do this work. That's all we could do. That's all we can do. You know? That's all we can do. And this message is for myself as well as everybody that's watching. You know, those that are believers in this faith. So it says, verse 8, be sober, be vigilant. Be sober meaning don't be drunk. Drunk with what? The cares of this world. Because the cares of this world can get you drunk. It's like how you sit back and guzzle a, a whatever bottle and get drunk. The world could do the same thing to you. In your mind, you're drunk. You know, you're mentally, spiritually drunk. Guzzling a bottle, you know, it gets you drunk on a physical tip. So the cares of this world is like alcohol. You know, it's like, it's that strong drink that Esau is giving to everybody to distract them from being sober-minded. You know, so he's going to use the cares of this world against these people when that MO to the capital TB is implemented. The cares of this world is going to choke them. You know, the drunkenness of this world is going to be like, because it's easy to take advantage of a drunk person. But if you're sober, ain't nobody can take advantage of you. You're clear minded. You, you're, you're able to make proper, dis, uh, you discern proper judgment. No, I ain't doing that. What are you, what are you talking about? Nope, nope, I ain't doing that. Nope, uh, eh. all of that. But for somebody that's drunk, they don't know what's going on. So people that are all caught up in the cares of this world, they don't know what's going on. F, F the cares of this world. F it. All right? F it. Of course, we deal with it with balance, but we still cast our cares upon the Lord. Let him, let him deal with it. We do what we got to do, but let the Lord deal with it. You know, it's easy to get uh, over-consumed with the cares of this world. So it says be sober. Be vigilant. Vigilant means to always watch. You know? When you're drunk, physically drunk with a bottle, your vision ain't too clear. Literally, it's not too clear. Like, you start seeing doubles. You know, you may sit back like this, and then your head starts spinning, and you open your eye, and then you're like this, trying to catch yourself. I mean, yo, who, I, I know everybody hate being that damn nice. You know, I mean, really ain't no point to be getting that nice, but, you know, to each his own. Don't, you know, don't fuck yourself up, but. <laughs> and if you do, you know, be in your own house. Be in, be in the confines of your own crib, your own house. But nobody, you know, we don't drink to get like that, man. You know, just like how we don't deal with the world to be overconsumed with the cares of this world, you know, we 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 we're supposed to be sober. You know, we deal with it, but we ain't trying to get drunk. Just like we were, we take a shot, we were sip, but we ain't trying to get pissy drunk. We just trying to mellow out, get nice or whatever. If drinking is your thing, you know, it says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, and that's what he's doing. That's what the devil's doing. The adversary of the devil is like a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. And he's going to devour a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people about to get devoured. Like that, that woman that had that dream, she got devoured in her dream. You know, ain't no sugarcoating it, but she got devoured in her dream. And that's, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare to, uh, to uh, dream that you took the, you shot the MOTB. That's a damn nightmare. And then, you know what? Apostle always used to say this too. A lot of people won't at fold because of his spouse. A lot of people are going to fold because of their spouse. Whether it's a man, fold because his wife went and got it behind his back. You know? And then the, she got the kids to get it. Now this this dude crying. He messed up in the spirit. He don't know what to do. That's that's what happens when you put all your care and your trust in the damn, in people. In a woman. Alright? For the men out there, that's why when you put all your, your hope, your trust, and your cares in a damn woman. Well, or I, if, if not wo woman, your family members. Them too. You know, your family members may, may get it. Your whole household may get it. Don't look at, don't see that as an opportunity to fold. Hey, but use that as an opportunity to use the world, not abuse it. A word they got to see here, damn, that's fucked up. They're going to die. I feel bad. But you know what? I ain't getting it. I'm saying what a brother, you know, just speaking like a brother. You know, I ain't getting it. But you know what? They going to get food somehow, somewhere. Well, fuck it. Use that as your opportunity to eat. Until that supply line is cut off and then the Lord starts showing miracles and then, He's supplying for you or whatever. People around you may get to see hip and then that, that may be a way you may be getting food for a period of time. 
until the Lord starts showing some great miracles, man. You know? And then that's, that's another thing, like, the scriptures talk about being over-righteous, being over-righteous much. So, like, somebody, you know, get, got the sea hip and they offer you food. You're not being wicked because you took the food that they got because they wicked ass went and got the sea hip and you eating it. You're not eating a sea hip induced food, all right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> food is food, okay? And is that that's that's in the scriptures, man. The scriptures talk about um about um eating with a conscious, eating with a conscious mind, not eating with food, you know, uh, how it go? A brother could put that up there. I know I know exactly what it is. I think it's in uh Colossians, if I'm not mistaken, but eating food sacrifice to idols or whatever. You know? So don't don't you know, don't be over righteous on that sense either. I could give a damn. You know, a family member or a coworker or a friend or somebody or whatever, however, I ain't gonna say coworker because you obviously gonna be working around that time, but they went and got the C hip and then, you know, you they offer you something shit, give me. I don't give a fuck how you got it, give me that shit. You know, the Wadi how about shit me out shot for providing. You know, you gotta know when the Lord is providing. As long as you don't take it. You know, as long as we don't take it. So the uh, the adversary of the devil, Satan, he saw is going about seeking whom he may devour. Alright, seeing who he gonna devour. And a lot of people about to be devoured when when it's crunch time. All right, believe that, man. Things, things are gonna just—it's gonna be so magnificent. How the Lord is just gonna shift the tides of this, the tides of this world. It's gonna be magnificent. It's gonna be—it's gonna be like—it's gonna be mind blowing. But you see, with with the the hopeful elect brothers are anticipating it. We're anticipating it, and we're preparing for it. All right, we're preparing for it. We're preparing for it. So, if twenty twenty three come, and the Lord have it to where. Esau just blow the sea hip out of out of out of just boom, you know, just straight sea hipping. And it should get crazy. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Like as far as like, yo, it's happening, brothers. It's finally happening. You know, and our time on YouTube ain't gonna be forever. Alright? It ain't gonna be forever. Cause they ain't gonna allow it to us to be coming up. But they gonna put an end to the so called so called conspiracy theories, which ain't a theory no more. You know? It ain't a theory no more. It's it's it's, it's facts. Actual facts taking place. You know, and then that's when people are gonna be see. That's when the Lord's gonna withdraw His word because I can see it now. Jake cramming, Jake cramming for that test, pulling out their smartphones. G M S M O T. Oh, well, a lot of people probably don't know about the acronyms, but they're like G M S, Great Millstone, Mark of the. You know what? Nothing, no information, because we ain't on YouTube no more. You know, and the Lord, the Lord could be so cold. That even if the internet is still active and around, you can just be like, you know what, man? I don't want y'all out there no more. Let these people, suffering is coming, now let them feel. Let them feel the pain. The Lord could do that too. You know, I don't know. I'm just I'm just speaking as a man. I'm just speaking as a a man, you know? Just a, a, a mere mortal, you know? Anyway, um, let me read. Let me read Luke chapter 12 and verse... Verse 4. Now, I, could, I could start up. Let me start at 1. Luke chapter 12, verse 1. In the meantime, when they were gathered together, an innumerable, innumerable multitude of the people, and so much that they trolled one upon another, he began to send unto his disciples, first of, first of all, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I just want to see something. Bear me one moment. All right. Yes, yeah, like you. This is um Luke chapter twelve, verse one. In the meantime, when they were gathered together. An innumerable multitude of people, in so much that they trolled one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a terrible thing, man. You know, hypocrites, I being an actor. You know, that's the leaven of the of Pharisees because they were saying one thing but doing the next. All right? Acting like they were all high and mighty, looking down on every other Israelite that believed, that had faith. That's hypocrisy because not one man. Let's see the let's see let's see one man save himself by himself. Let's see that. <coughs> we know that can't happen. We know it's not gonna happen. 
So verse 2 says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Everything got to be revealed in due time, and everything is being revealed in due time. Wherefore, whatsoever, I, whatsoever ye have spoken in the darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the air in the closet shall be proclaimed upon housetops. And I say unto you, my friend, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. So Esau got power to kill the body. Let's use Esau. Esau could kill the body, you know, uh, uh, put certain brothers in guillotines, under guillotines for not, for denouncing his ass, his system, not receive, uh, uh, denouncing his beast system and all that. He got the power to off with your head, but then you you in the spirit world, waiting for resurrection, waiting to off with his head. Okay? Waiting to put him in chains. So remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is in control of everything. Even when them, them, them C hip stations start getting rolled out, that's the most high allowing it to happen. You know? Everything nothing happened unless the Lord sanctioned it. And that's just gonna go into this. It says, um, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him. Which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. Not hell as in an actual place you go and you die. I established that in the beginning of the video. Now, what's hell? hell is a condition. Play it out on earth. All right? Hell ultimately is going to be the lake of fire, which is Babylon the Great. Now, if, if you die, when a person die, the Lord have the power to kill a person, right? And then let their soul go back up into the spirit world and then send them back down on earth to live in a harsh condition. All right, live in hell. That's why you could be wicked as all hell, the Lord judge you, and then you go back to the spirit world and you come back down and then you come back disfigured. You come back with three arms, one leg, you know, your head all lopsided, you know, rolling around in a wheelchair like Stephen Hawkins. That's hell. You know, that's hell in the flesh. That's hell in the body. Okay, that's why the scriptures say that. Fear that man, fear him. You know, because whatever, as scripture said, whoever perish being innocent, whoever the righteous cut off, everybody that is getting judged is getting judged according to what they have done. And we've all done, you know, uh, sin in the sight of the Lord. That's why it's, it's, you know, it's detrimental for us to be more on point in these days because we don't know what we did in our past life. You know, that's why I, I, I read, the, read the scripture. Humble yourself under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh under, under the power of the Most High. Humble yourself under him because we don't know who we are. You know, we just hope that we're part of the elect and the righteous. So it says, verse 6, Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But every, but, excuse me, but even the hairs of your head are all numbered. All right? The Lord knows every single hair in our head, every strand, you know? He knows all of that. He could count it. He knows it. He literally knows how many hairs you got on your head. He knows when you shed a hair off your head. We shed every day, right? He knows how much you shed it. You know? Come on, the Lord's bad, bro. It says, Fear not, therefore. Ye are more valuable than many sparrows. All right? Yeah, you are more val valuable than many sparrows. Scripture said, The birds of the heavens, they don't gather in barns, they don't do this, they don't do that, but the Lord feed them. Are we not much more greater than they are? Yes. You know? So, how are we going to eat when all hell breaks loose? I did the video on that. We going we gonna eat. We ain't fuck F the M O T B, bro. You know, F it. Fuck it. You know? It's all about faith in Yahweh Bash Shemi Shah. And that's the message. I, I pray and hope to Yahweh Bash Shemi Shah that I'm conveying. That the Lord is using me to convey. Alright, to the to the church, to the to the house of Israel, to the elect. So it says, Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of Yahweh Bash Shemi Shah. So we're confessing Yahweh Bash Shemi Shah. Before men, before the world, before the public, for, for Esau to see, for these Israelites to see, for these heathens to see, for everybody to see, for the world. We're declaring the coming of our Lord. All right? We're, it's like we're rolling out the red carpet for him like John the Baptist did. All right? Paved the way for Yahweh Shah. We're doing the same thing. Following suit. All right? As our men, the men before us did and the men before them did, we're doing the same thing. So the Lord is going to confess us before the angels in heaven. Guess who's coming back to slay and kill? Ezekiel the ninth chapter. Alright? They that have the, the mark of exemption, which is Thawah in the Hebrew, alright, they're gonna get spared. But those that don't have it, matter of fact, those that got the other M-A-R-K, alright, the mark of 
eat them. You know? What's going to happen to them? They're going to get slayed. Slay utterly old, young. You know? If I get that, I get that. If not, a brother could post it up there. We all familiar with that scripture, but great slaying and death is coming. It says, but he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. All right? So, you deny Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which a lot of people are doing. We see that. People denying Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, the name, saying it don't matter, this, that, that, this. Don't, don't make the name a doctrine, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, man. You out your damn mind. But, hey, time going to tell. Time going to tell what it is when that time comes. All right, I got a few more. Lord willing, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna wrap it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse, verse 13. It says, They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. All right, so the temptation that we go through is common to men. Every, men go through it. It's not like we're, we're going through experiencing things that no man has ever gone through. Every man have gone through what we going through at some point. Whatever. Financial hell, physical hell, mental hell. How much more the temptation that every man is going to be tried with when the MOTB is instated, when it's made mandatory? The whole world is going to be tried. Okay? But the difference is the Lord is going to reserve his elect. So they have no temptation you, uh, excuse me, there's no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man, but God, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So remember that. I'm a, I'm a in my mental, um, you know, uh, library, you know, the Lord ain't going to put us through what, what we cannot get out of. All right. He's faithful to put you in a situation where you can get out of it. So when SHTF, things are looking bad, we can't work no more. Things, another, let's say another LD comes, another lock, you know, dizzy come, things are locked down. And then to be qualified for uh, unemployment, you got to prove that you took the the, the the jump shot at some point. And then you got to follow up with the records of being uh, boosted and all of that. Come on, bro. It's going to be crunch time, but the Lord got his elect. All right? The Lord got his elect. So, it says, the most high is not, is, is the most high, no, excuse me, the most high, the Yahweh, Yahweh by Hashem is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So that's hope. That's hope from the um, Heavenly Father. That's hope from the scriptures. All right. That's hope from the scriptures that the Lord said, you know, he going to deliver us. He going to take care of us when that time, when that time is at hand. All right. Let me jump from there to the book of James, chapter 1, and verse 12. It says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Ultimately, what? What's the ultimate temptation coming? The hour of temptation, where everybody's going to be tried. So, blessed is the man that endure that trial period. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, the glory, the dominion, the, the, the actual crown, the crown of life, being resurrected, all right, being raised up in the first go around. Which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Alright? That the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So, that, you know, like I was saying earlier, and thinking to myself, when this thing go down, when this thing go down, you know, and people do fall is because they, they didn't have, they didn't have the foundation. They didn't have a, a, a internal reason as to why not to take the MOT to the B. You know, they didn't you they didn't uh set up Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, or they didn't see Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah as the rock, all right, as their foundation, as their stronghold. Matter of fact, um Proverbs 18. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18. Let me grab that real quick. You know, fundamental precept, fundamental scripture. The book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. It says, The name of the Lord, Yahweh, 
by Hashem Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Point blank period. The name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is a strong tower. But belief in that name. Not just the name, because a lot of people know the name that they ain't Israelites. I mean, excuse me, that they ain't not part of the elect. You know? A lot of people know the name. A lot of these celebrities that watch our videos that, 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 that are set up by Esau, that rather serve men, they know the name. Are they going to, the Lord going to have mercy on them in that time? Well, the Lord going to have mercy on whom he will have mercy, but let's be real. These people chose their God. They chose their God. So that's why the scripture say in Matthew, that not everybody that say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High. But he that do the will of the Father. All right? So, um, let me jump from there to uh, James chapter 4. And I start at six. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore you say, matter of fact, let me start up. Let me start at five. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Alright, he resists the proud and give grace to the humble. Now, we in a world where everybody's proud, man. Everybody's proud of themselves. There's a thing called pride. You know, an actual thing where, you know, you know I'm talking about pride. And these people are just going above and beyond, you know, using the the, the, the symbol of the covenant that the Lord set up that he wouldn't um, destroy the earth by water again. You know, the rainbow. You know, this world is full of pride. And God, most high is going to resist them. Meaning, you they gonna, you're going to have, have it to where they're on their own. They're going to have to fend for themselves. All right, but he giveth grace to the humble. So the humble, which is the elect, those that are those that are repenting, in order to repent, you gotta humble yourself. You gotta acknowledge that, damn, I effed up. It takes, it takes, um, you know, it takes, what's the word? Dignity, integrity. You know, it takes a, a, a solid individual to acknowledge, yo, I, I effed up. Lord, please forgive me. But it's so hard for somebody that's wicked and proud to do that because they can never be wrong. They can never be wrong. And if you got the mindset where you can never be wrong, you're argumentative and you don't want to take reproof and, reproof and rebuke, the Lord is going to have it to where you're going to fall right into the same snares that the devil is setting up. So it says, Submit yourselves therefore to Yahweh Shemiah Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the, to the powers and he will draw nigh to you. Get closer to Yahweh Shemiah you're going to get closer to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts, purify your mind. All right, <coughs> cleanse your works, cleanse your mind. All right, ye double-minded, be afflicted and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. All right, so a great destruction is coming for those that are that are proud in spirit. All right, that are proud in spirit. Let me jump. I got two more precepts and I'm going to end it. 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse, verse 9. It says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Again, the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. So when the whole earth is tried, as everybody will be tried and tempted, the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of that. So, Lord willing, we are of the godly. We are of the, um, the righteous, those that are destined to be saved, the elect, I should say. Lord willing, we those people. We those men. All right? And you, you few sincere women out there, you know, your children, your house, our house, our household. You know, Lord willing, we those people destined to be saved so that when this hour of temptation comes, we don't fold. You know, we don't fold. We stand stiffly for the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Till death do us part, man. Lord will be those people. So the Lord know how to do that. You know how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. So if anybody do go and take the MOTB, they were part of the unjust. And to, to justify their punishment, they took it. The most high got it to where they took it. You know? Because this is the, like Apostle Tar said, this is the most high's MOTB. This is his C hip. Alright, this is what he's gonna use to separate, because he, he could do that. You know, he and he use he's using the devil. Hey, the scripture said the deceived and the deceiver are both his. So this is a fearful thing. You know, it's a fearful thing. The scripture says it's a fearful thing to the fallen hands of the living power. 
all right? <clears throat> you know, it's a fearful thing. So stay humble. Stay humble, stay faithful, and just, you know, just, hey, <laughs> do what the Lord commanded. So I'm going to end it here. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 11. Uh, verse 11, it says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahawashah. Again, going back to the beginning, Yahawashah is that foundation. All right? He is that foundation. We build on Yahawashah, man. He's the foundation. You build on him, you're unmovable. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, all right, gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, and stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest. For that day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. Alright? So that's that's every man's work. That's every man. Alright? Men are gonna be some men are gonna be found as gold, some men are gonna be found as silver, some men are gonna be found as precious stones, some men are gonna be some men are gonna be found as wood, some men are gonna be hay and stubble. Alright? When that fire is ultimately revealed, which the Lord is kindling a fire now. You know, he's trying everybody, like gold is tried in the fire. And the ultimate fire is going to be that ICBM thermonuclear destruction. Zechariah the 13th chapter, I will bring the third part through the fire. All right? Which is twofold. Being purified as the fire. Being purified by the fire, I should say. All right? And once you're purified and made precious and fine gold, you're worthy to be saved. You know, through the actual fire. So, that day is going to declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire, and fire shall try every man's work, what sort he is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall be rewarded. So if you abide, based off the based off of you know what you're made of, you're gonna be rewarded. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet also by fire. So, you know, you got people a lot whoever get caught up in this temptation, low will it ain't us. You know, get caught up in the temptation and all that. You know, the 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 person, the man, you know, suffer loss, but he's not gonna lose because he himself was built upon on fire. I mean, excuse me, built upon gold. Built, you know, he was tried as gold. You know, he was made up of gold, made up of silver, precious stone, versus the stubble, the wood, the hay, which is once you light, once you kindle a fire to it, it engulfs in fire and it, it destroys. It turns to dust, ashes. You know, so Lord will, we want to be those men that are, that, that have been founded upon Yahweh Shai, the founded upon that foundation. We want to be those men that are made up of gold, silver, precious stone, and not wood, hay, and stubble. We want to be those men, you know, and, and you want to be those men, you know, that you don't suffer, you know, loss and, you know, and all of that, man. But, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much the video right here. Lord's will. I went an hour and some change, 20 minutes or so. But, you know, the inspiration came from these videos. GMS testimonial envi uh, uh, envisions for, which he got the video from Yahweh the 144 SC. And also go check out those two pages, those two channels. Subscribe, be edified. You know, but hey, endure because 2023 is going to turn up. The Lord is about, the things are about to shift. All right, things are about to shift. Financially, things are about to shift. Spiritually, things are about to shift. Things are about to shift, bro. The world as we know it is gone. You know, the world as we once knew is gone and forgotten. All right, we already in this NWO. We already in it. All right, and it's steps and stages, and this Esau is building it up. You know, he's building it up to make it to where he want to get people see hipped But the Lord is going to allow it to happen for a moment, and then he's going to come in and intervene and, and, and stop it. Job the 20th chapter. You know, but um, I pray and hope to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakudash that this was an edifying lesson to the elected nation of Israel. You know, till next time, I want to say Shalom.